In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about Pardot connectors and how you can connect Pardot to Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. So here we are in the Pardot Lightning application. To find the different connectors available to you, go to Pardot settings. And then on the left, you'll see a menu item called connectors. Click on that. Now I'm sure you're going to see one that's already been installed called Salesforce. This is the primary connector or the bridge to your Salesforce org. And if you click on this cog, you can edit settings uh, exe uh, about exactly how that works. But there's also plenty of other connectors you can add uh, for, for your Pardot instance. So click on the blue button for add connector, and then you get um, a list of a bunch of different ones. You know, at the very top, we've got some webinar connectors, you know, WebEx and GoToWebinar. Uh, beneath that, you've got Google Ads, uh, Bitly, and then at the bottom, we've got social posting connectors. So add a, let's choose Facebook for now. Go ahead and click on Facebook, and then it'll tell you a little bit about the connector. And then click the button Create Connector. And once it refreshes, you can see we now have a Facebook connector that has not yet been verified. So we just need to provide our login name and password to authenticate this connector with Facebook. Click on the Verify Now button, then click on Verify Connector, and then it's going to open up a Facebook window and have you log in. I'm going to close out of that for right now. And it's a similar process for Twitter and LinkedIn. Just go into Add Connectors, choose the connector you're interested in, create it, and then use your standard login credentials to set up that connection. Now, the other thing to mention about connectors since we're here is there are other integrations for Pardot that don't have these dedicated Pardot connectors, but they still work just fine. So as an example, Zoom is another popular webinar platform. You know, it doesn't show up here under webinar connectors, but they do have an integration. Uh, and so similar, um, to how you need to use your, your Twitter username and password to set up that connector, you do that from the Zoom side. Set up your Zoom account, add the integration with Pardot, and then you're gonna use a Pardot username, password, and API key in order to establish that connection between the two systems. So I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video.